Gemini, hello. How are how are you? Uh, this is Marianne here from Revealing Light Tarot, astrology and spirituality. Um, I'm here to do your tarot scopes for the month of October 2022. It is a general reading, and of course, um, it may or may not resonate. Uh, you you make that decision. Um, I'm here to offer guidance, um, and sometimes that will spark your own intuition. Um, it is for your sun sign rising or if your moon is in Gemini, by all means tune in. Also just want to mention that I don't do personal readings. There are some scammers around. Uh, if the, I'm not on WhatsApp. If anyone approaches you pretending to be me, block and report them on YouTube in the comments section. Look for the grey circle around my name. And uh, that is YouTube's tick of authentic authenticity. No grey circle. It's not me. Um, so be uh, alert and block and report if someone approaches you pretending to be me for a reading. All right, Gemini. Gemini. Mm. Gemini, let's just sink into that energy, that Gemini space. Yeah, I, you know, I feel feel that you're kind of with the year you know kind of drawing to a close I mean we're, we're not going to be in October and we've only two months left of the year I feel that you know you're lightening uh your or you're wanting to lighten that mental it's kind of like speed take a rest is what I'm feeling for Gemini in October 2022. Show me Gemini. Yeah, putting your feet up. Very much the image that I got. Uh, maybe you just need to take a break away. I often get this energy, Gemini, because you're quick. You consume information. You deliver information. Your mind's going a lot. And sometimes you've just got to switch it off. So... Gemini, show me Gemini, October 2022. We have the Emperor, so control here. I should say, actually, I'll pull the Celtic cross. I have been doing past, present and future, but for some reason, Celtic cross is for you. The Five of Swords, yeah. So you can't control everything. Um, you want to, you want to, but... I think you're sabotaging your own efforts when you try. You know, you've got a lot of mental strength. Your ruler is Mercury. We're in well, Mercury retrograde. We'll be coming out of that. So I think it's like Mercury retrogrades are always for me an opportunity to look at look through look at the win look through that window and see with a degree of clarity. What has been controlling us, not the other way around? In other words, what we've been doing to abuse, to perhaps abuse, well, I'm not, not going to say abuse ourselves, but our strategies may not have been in the best interests of us, of you. So in other words, you've let burnout, I think, creep up again through wanting to control everything. Mm. Should look at the Libra reading as well because there are similarities here. Not quite, but kind of around the edges. The devil energy is what we're chained to, what we need to release, what we need freedom from the areas of shadow within ourselves that need the light of illumination. For you, I think, have a look at where you need to have that control, letting go of that, because it's like this crow is saying, Mmm, a bit of a control freak. How's that working for you? Now, I don't mean that <laughs> harshly. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, and I've said it with a smile. So it's not, it's not a, it's not a, um, 
a complaint here about you. It's just that your mind is so strong, so strong, that you can easily wear yourself out if you try and control everything. In the past, we have the Three of Pentacles. You know, this is good uh, counsel, working with others, delegation. It doesn't matter if you're not in the workforce. This can be family commitments, community commitments, home commitments, work commitments. You've delegated in the past, but that is in the past. The Queen of Wands in the sky. She sits in that happy, happy kind of energy through that light of awareness about what she needs to, what she, what action she needs to take in order to move forward with her plans, whatever her plans are. There's a connection between your plans and your motivation. Your motivation will wane if you try and control everything. Just let go. Put your feet up. Seven of cups. Making good choices. And, of course, that will often come up with that devil energy as well. Look at the choices you're making and why you have to do that, I feel, in October. Page of cups. Now, this could be something coming out of the blue it, uh, I, I, I note on this card that the desi developer designer has uh, included a pigs may fly type of energy here. Something also around um, maybe what, what you are, an illusion that you're laboring under. <laughs> what is the illusion? That only I can do it, only I can control it. You need to look at things a different way. And this is the card of pausing, taking time out, doing that introspection, looking at things, as I said, in another way. It could be, are you self-sacrificing? For what? For why? Have you had an event that came out of the blue that made you realise that the only one that you're, the only, everyone else is, is gaining here except for you, but it's like you've you've had this self-sacrificing, but it is based on your need for control, Gemini. Sorry. King of Cups in the hopes and fears. I don't think I'm telling you anything you don't already know because I think that this King of Cups is emotional maturity and that's why the Page, page of Cups is here. It's like you've been given a real insight, a real insight into where you need, like a delegator and somebody that brings others along with them and empowers others has reached the King of Cups energy. And I think you know that. Let's see what the outcome is. The Ace of Wands, you take a rest in October, you will bounce back and you'll be <laughs> more... Better than, you know, as you as you were, better than the old, you'll actually be the new. And we've got the Ace of Wands, so you along with the Queen of Wands, so there's something around passion and motivation returning. And moving out of trouble, trouble, moving on, moving, having dealt with the Emperor energy, that Aries energy. Um and how you may be over-controlling, you actually do get to move out of, out of, out of the consequences <laughs> of your actions. Uh, and it's like movement all around. At another level, you just get your passion returning, but it's not in the old way. It's in a new way. And there could be trips and travels here as a result, new projects given to you, offered to you, travel to see people you haven't seen in a long time. Sometimes that can be people coming from out of the past, out of the blue. This soaring energy, <laughs> it's like your mojo starts to return to you. 
as a result of just letting go of control. I absolutely love this energy. What do I want to clarify here? I think I'll just clarify the devil. The devil and perhaps the ace. Well, let's see. Let's start with the devil. We'll do a clarification on the devil, please. Why is the devil card here? At the foundation of the reading, it is like we're all getting getting a gift of seeing what no longer works for us. We have no choice but to look at that. And that's what happens when the devil comes. The devil energy. I'm not saying the devil. Um, I mean, that's an archetype, a religious archetype. That's not what this card is. This card is the gift, the gift that we uh, get to see. We become stronger by seeing our shadow sides. We become stronger by seeing what areas of our life needs to be illuminated. In that way, the devil energy is a gift to us. Show me this devil card. Why is the devil here? So we have his strength. I knew that was going to come up. That's why this energy is Capricornian, because we get to stride forward. We get to occupy that really that tenth house place um, where we have control. So in relinquishing control, you regain control, but you regain regain it in a new way. You become stronger. I love that energy. And we've got letting go. In order to become stronger, the devil energy teaches us we've got to let go. Okay, let's clarify. I want to clarify the page of cups here because this can be often something coming out of left field, something that surprises us. Maybe, maybe you weren't expecting having to do this kind of introspection in October. Maybe you've been doing it for the last month or two um, and you kind of get the answer in October. Page of Cups, what's the Page of Cups here for? Okay, so we've got the Magician manifest Manifestation uh, Control, controlling what we manifest in the future. Mm, Ten of Pentacles, uh, this could be um, money, income, family income. And we've got the Page of Cups clarifying itself. Um, for some, given I pulled two Pages of Cups on a clarifying um, throw, and the Magician card and the Ten of Pentacles, you could be manifesting money coming through to you. So watch for something to perhaps come out of left field for some Geminis in in October, something new is coming which allows you to move move forward. Show me this Ace of Wands, a new project, a new plan. I mean, this is a good reading. Show me this Ace of Wands for Gemini. I've got the Page of Wands. Absolutely, you're going to hear something. Motivation, passion. You're going to hear something. You're going to move forward with a project or a plan. It's like wish fulfillment. Whether this is great or small, whatever this gift that is that's coming to you uh, could could be around the eclipse, the time of the eclipse with the moon card there, something coming to the surface, and we've got happiness. This It is around the eclipse. It is around. I got the eclipse cards, the sun and the moon, and we've got the page of wands, news coming through around this Ace of Wands, Queen of Wands project, new project that you're going to be working on. And it's like a wish fulfillment for you. I love these cards. Six of Wands, victory. 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 By letting go of the need to control everything. Mm. Gemini, there's some lessons for all of us in, the, in your reading. Page of Wands is at the base of the pack, by the way. Three pages of wands in your in your reading. Moving forward with a project or a plan, taking those first steps forward, regaining your passion and motivation, moving forward. All right, so let's uh, draw some oracle card oracles cards from the revealing light oracle. 
I don't know if I, I talked about, I'm using the Light Seas and the Shadowscape deck and my own Revealing Light Oracle, which details of which are on my website. Show me uh, just three cards for Gemini in October 2022. Really, air signs are getting really strong, um, really strong cards. Libra got this. As I said, you might want to check out that um, free fall. Nothing breaks as easily as a heart nor mends as strongly. Sometimes when we give up control um, and we have to, we're forced to do that. It's kind of like... Um, it's kind of like we're being taught how to love ourselves, <laughs> unconditional love, the simplicity of love and connection. And this is Cancerian energy. This is the heart chakra that is mending for you, Gemini, in October. And meditate. Observe your thoughts. Let the negative flow away and feel your energetic vibration rise. Um, this is like that hangman meditation as well. Sometimes... The hangman can be sort of in a trance or entranced, and that way you, you a transmute, understand awareness into understanding, and willpower at the base of the pack. You, that's what Uranus does. It's squaring the North Node in in uh, Taurus and has been for a long time now. You, uh, you know, a better part of this year. We're all, that's why it's, there's similarities in these readings because we're all being, we're all confronting that devil energy and we're all learning what we need to let go uh, of. We're all creating our own renaissance, bringing old cycles to a close and then the new comes in, then the new comes in. All right, Gemini, that's your reading for October. Thanks for joining in.